Daniel Lemon is president of General Motors. There's all the distractions of rebate this and rebate this. Let's talk a little bit of manufacturing discussion. First, Dan, why are you in Davos? Why, why does a guy like you come to Davos? Well, we're a big global company. We're operating in every major market of the world. There's a lot going on in the world right now, all sorts of volatility, and we want to make sure we understand exactly what's going on so we can adjust our business as needed. We talked to John Rice of General Electric Company the other day. As you know, there's many major players. It's a cutthroat business out there. What is the GM process distinction in Asia, in Europe, or in frontier markets? What makes you different? Well, where we're really taking the company now is reorienting our whole mindset around the customer. So starting with the customer and having a really deep and profound understanding market by market, what does each customer need? What does each segment of the market need? And then working back up through the value chain to make sure right. we're delivering vehicles and services that it, uh, meet those and requirements. You did that, and it was profound. You listened to your customers, and I believe your dealers on repricing your new Cadillac. Tell me about that process. That's that's a that wouldn't have happened 20 years ago. You put out the Cadillac and then you listened, didn't you? We went out, we listened. Uh, Cadillac's it's a very important part of General Motors' future. Uh, the luxury space is growing rapidly. It's a very profitable space. Uh, we have an iconic brand in Cadillac that gives us a great foundation to build that business back to the real pinnacle uh, of the automotive space, which is where it belongs. And as we go down that journey, uh, we're engineering <clears throat> just tremendously excellent product. Uh, we're rebuilding the brand, getting the customer experience right. But how did you right. reprice it? In a couple but, but, weeks ago, you had to say, okay, we made a mistake. This is what we're doing. Did you make that decision? What we did is we went back and we, we said, look, what's the market telling us and how do we repackage the content of the mm -hmm. vehicle to make sure that we're delivering exactly what the customers want and not delivering them what they don't need so we can repackage, get the value equation right. I look at the Super Bowl wars and the television wars. What is the GM distinction as you sell quality, branding, manufacturing? And, you know, I don't care about 297 a month and 2000 down and all that game, but what, how are you going to position yourself who, what's a company in Dearborn? What are they called? For, is it Ford? It's Ford. How do you compete against those guys or Chrysler? Well, it's really it's a highly competitive business globally. It's our fundamental belief that the more and better we understand our customers, the better we'll be able to deliver exactly what they need, the service they need, the customer experience they need, the sales experience they need. Do they need an aluminum pickup truck? They need. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see. It's a, it's a real experiment. The customers will tell us in what the next do they year say? or two. Uh, too early to tell, I'd say, but mm -hmm. we uh, we feel very good about our truck strategy. We've got a three-truck strategy. You might know we just uh, launched the Chevy Colorado Motor Trend Truck of the Year, uh, re-entering and really recreating the mid-size pickup truck segment, uh, and that's really going to be a home run. Tell me quickly about labor in America. An auto worker used to be a guy who was above middle class. You know they made a big salary, big benefits, and there's been a resizing, a repricing of American labor. Is that process over? I'd say from our perspective, you know, our business depends, our customer base, a huge part of that is the middle class, and a huge part of our employee base is the middle class, and, and it's our job, and it's our belief that we need to be able to continue to grow that middle class by offering the right employment, offering the right wages, uh, make, keeping our business competitive so that we can grow that business and really create a win-win for everybody. The guy from Uber calls you up today, Travis, Travis calls you up today, and he goes, you know, we're talking to Toyota, we're talking here, if he wants to do an exclusive deal with GM. How do you talk to something like Uber, which is, you know, all their drivers are buying cars and that. How do you deal with a problem like that? Well, I don't think it's a problem. I think it's an opportunity. I think yeah. it is the, the whole urban engagement with the customer, how, how consumers want to consume transportation in the urban environment, that's changing fundamentally. And we're, we're right at the forefront of, uh, uh, of working through that. Again, understanding the customer, how do they want to get from A to B? How can we help them do that, mm -hmm. whether it's in a driver-assisted scenario, whether it's in a semi autonomous vehicle scenario, new urban mobility, business models, car sharing, ride sharing. Uh, right. There's a whole new world of opportunities. Is Mary Barra aged over this re rebate stuff? It's like every day there's a new rebate, not just GM, but other auto companies. Well, when did this start? When is, uh, when is everything recalled? When is everything recalled? Well, there's been a lot of activity across the industry. Uh, our focus is making sure that we ultimately get to zero defect. That is the fundamental driving philosophy in the company now is producing a zero defect vehicle. And until we get to that point, we will go out and do absolutely the right thing for the customer at every time. And if we see any sign of an issue, we're going to go out and address it.
What's the new technology in paint? I always look at a car and I go, I look at the paint job. My grandfather had a Cadillac and he looked, he's at the paint job. And then there was the Mercedes paint job. What is the new and the technology of paint? And paint, uh, the paint shop continues to evolve to be one of the most uh, uh, advanced parts of the whole uh, assembly process. Uh, new, new colors, uh, new layers, new ways of getting there and uh, new opportunities for the customer. Final question, that Buick sign that used to be there out of the Grand Hyatt Hotel in Shanghai, what are you going to do about China this year? Uh, well, China will continue to grow this year. It's the biggest car market in the world. It's going to remain that way if, so far as we can see into the future. Uh, it'll grow again this year. It'll grow at a slower rate. We're still you know, in a, in a leadership position in that market, hugely important to us. Dan, thank you so much. Mr. Amin is with the General Motors Company.